I have a story to tell about a little cat named Rusty who became part of a clan. Rusty yawned, stretching and padding out of the house, sitting atop his fence, staring into the woods. Good morning, Rusty, a plump black and white cat called. You're not going into the woods, are you? It's dangerous. Rusty turned to look at his friend. Smudge, how would you know that? You've never been into the woods, Rusty exclaimed. Henry has. He caught a robin there. Rusty chuckled. That old tabby has been in the woods. All he ever does is eat and sleep. Well, you won't get me in there. I won't have to. I know you won't. Rusty leaped down from the fence, padding towards the woods. His ears pricked as he scented something. He drops into a crouch, stalking the scent and leaping, only to be tackled by a great tabby with the scent of wild. Digging his claws into Rusty's skin, he yelped, unsheathing his claws and fighting back, kicking the gray tabby off, twisting and turning, digging claws into each other's fur. Rusty scrambled away, but held his ground as the threat licked his ear. Not a bad fight for a kitty pet. I'm Graypaw, by the way. Rusty. He licked his tail. Graypole. A voice called as a pale gray she-cat emerged from the bramble. A yellow fluffy tabby beside her. Blue star, he bowed, nudging Rusty to do the same. What is the meaning of this? Blue star spoke, her fur prickled, her blue gaze piercing their eyes. Graypaw opened his mouth to speak, but was interrupted by Rusty. I was just hunting, and we bumped into each other. And there's plenty of prey to go around, right? He smiled nervously. Plenty to go around. She bent down, face to face with Rusty. You threaten our clan by taking our food. You have plenty of food in your two-leg nests already. The tabby spoke. The yellow tabby spoke up. Perhaps we could let this cat join our clan. We are in dear need of warriors, Blue Star. I suppose you're right, Lionheart. Lionheart will be here tomorrow night. Please give us your answer to that. Dawn fade. Dawn arise the next morning. And just like Blue Star promised, Lionheart is there. Rusty said his goodbyes to Smudge and padded over to Lionheart. If you wish to join our clan, you have much to learn. This, they began running towards the clan. Blue Star waiting atop the high rock. Old cats old enough to catch their own play, prey, please gather around the high rock. The cats murmured and stepped up. We have a young kitty pet here, and who wishes to join the clan? Longtail spoke up. A kitty pet? That'll bring all of the two likes here if your stench doesn't. And they'll take us all back to that wretched place they call home. He lunged towards Fire. He lunged towards Rusty, but Rusty quickly dodged, nicking Longtail's ear. I suppose Blue Star is right. Good, Longtail. Please go back to your spot. Blue Star looked down at the kitty pet. You look like fire, my son. She cleared her throat. From this day forth, this young apprentice will be known as Fireboy.